104.5 The Team, 104.5theteam.com. Joining us now, college basketball insider for ESPN, Myron Medcalf. You can follow him on Twitter, at Medcalf by ESPN, all one word. Myron, Oklahoma, big loss on Monday. Despite the loss, Buddy Heald, still the best player in the country? That's a, that's a really a great question. I, I think he's the national player of the year right now. I just don't think there's anybody more talented than Ben Simmons. Uh, in terms of what he can do as an all-around player. But in terms of performance with a great team, it's hard to argue with Buddy Hill. He's improved in so many areas. He's a better three-point shooter. Uh, he's a better ball handler. He's, he just has a better feel for the game, a better defender. It's amazing what Buddy Hill has done. I mean, he left the end of last year as a guy who probably could have played his way into the first round in tryouts. Now he looks like a lottery pick. Uh, and it's good to see that with an older guy because – so many older guys get written off, but Buddy Hill, uh, I think, is your leader for National Player of the Year. Most talented, though, I think that has to go to Benson. That Oklahoma team had one of the most uh, exciting college basketball games we've seen in years with Kansas earlier this year, but it's their in-state rival, Oklahoma State, that knocks off the Jayhawks. You have Oklahoma State's a good team, Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas A&M in the top 10. The Big 12 looks to be the best conference in college basketball, but what's the second best conference this year? Good question. I mean, I think, you know, the Big 12 looks really strong. The ACC is quite interesting, and and maybe they have a claim to being the the top conference in the the country when you look at the fact that a Virginia Tech is 4-1 in league play. Uh, A team like Clemson is 5-2, wins over Louisville, Duke, Miami. And then you have teams like Duke that are 3-3, Miami, nationally ranked 2-2. Syracuse just got a couple of big wins. So I think the ACC top to bottom – is a really uh, tough league, and I think that is uh, certainly will stand uh, over the next couple of months as we see how this action plays out. College basketball insider for ESPN, Myron Metcalf, joins us here on 104.5 The Team and 104.5 The Team.com. You bring up the ACC. Is North Carolina, in your mind, the best team in college basketball? They're, they're one of the best. I mean, certainly. I think offensively, they look like the best team in the country. Uh, you look at what Bryce Johnson is doing just how that offense is coming together. Kennedy Meeks comes back in his first couple of games. He looks like he never had any time off. So I think North Carolina is definitely a squad that uh, is in that conversation. But like a lot of teams that are sort of fighting for those top ten slots, we still have to wait and see what happens when they play some of the other contenders. We still haven't seen that consistently. So it'll be a while before we can make that distinction. The toughest thing with North Carolina you have to wonder about you know, their defense has struggled at times. I think they're 66 and adjusted defensive efficiency, hmm. and I think that is, uh, will be their challenge. The Syracuse Orange basketball program, just two hours west of us here in Albany, they pick up a major win in Cameron Indoor Stadium against the Duke Blue Devils. Do you believe this Coach Beheim led Orange team can still get in the NCAA tournament? Um, sure, it's possible. Uh, you know, I think there are a number of quality win opportunities in the ACC, clearly. It just comes down to, you know, how you play over the next six weeks. It seems like most teams are still in the conversation for the NCAA tournament, uh, just given how much period we had. And I think the next six weeks to completely uh, overhaul the field. And we have a lot. Of, we have more unknowns right now than we have anything else. Meyer Medcalf joins us here on 104.5, the team at 104.5, the team.com college basketball insider. And we here in the capital region – have watched our Albany Great Danes get to the NCAA tournament. It's one of those mid-major teams that people root for come bracket time in March Madness. Which mid-major team do you think in two months from now may be making some noise come NCAA tournament time? Watch out for St. Mary's. Uh, St. Mary's is shooting about 46% from the three-point line. Um, Very talented team. Dane Pino, uh, Emmett Nahr, two uh, Australians uh, who are leading the way for that squad. Randy Bennett's team. And I just think they might be the best team in the West Coast Conference, and they're a team that if you see them in your bracket, uh, you, you should be very uh, careful with how you pick those games because they're shooting the ball really well, one of the most efficient teams in the country on offense, and they're going to be dangerous once they get to the tournament. We got some great college basketball action coming up this Saturday. Syracuse versus Virginia, Baylor versus Oklahoma, Villanova versus Providence, Maryland versus Michigan State. Which one of those matchups are you most looking forward to? 
Uh, I'll say Maryland, Michigan State, since I'll be there at the game. Uh, that, that's a fun one just because it, it's always fun to see Michigan State with its back against the wall. Uh, this is a team that went from being the top team in, in America uh, with the big wins that they had to losing Denzel Valentine, uh, Valentine and, and now they're trying to recover some momentum after losing to Iowa uh, and losing to Wisconsin. So to see Michigan State in a early must-win kind of opportunity in terms of hanging on to their Big Ten title hopes, I think that's a fun thing to see them at home and having to fight one of the most talented teams in the country. It, it should be a good game because I guarantee the Spartans aren't going out without a fight. You can make sure to follow him on Twitter at Metcalf by ESPN. He's a college basketball insider. Meyer and Metcalf. Meyer, thank you so much for the time. Enjoy the great college basketball action for the rest of the season. All right, thank you.